Previously on Real Chance of Love. I just want to feel more from Chance that I'm not getting. It's no real. Mama C T did it. You're for Chance. Of course you're going to try to get me out of this house. Flirty really needs to watch out. I lost my dog. Then my house was robbed. Then I was robbed at gunpoint. There's a bright woman for you. Chance, pick this one. She's a good one. And she just said she wanted to get an R chain. And yet it's no real. Who said that? Flirty. It's a competition. You have to play the game. So what were you guys talking about? She was telling me how you wanted a real chain today and all this. No. CC's so chain. full of and I told her right then and there. It just proved to me that she's two-faced, lying, conniving bitch. What did she say about Did she say anything about me? Chance just told me that she was saying things. If you got something to say to me, say it right now. I ain't never said nothing. She needs to pay consequences for things that she talk about, and y'all not doing that right now. Blonde baller, man. Me and you talked today, and it was just a lot of this girl this and that girl that. Man, all right, I heard enough of that. What about us? Me and you, or get the hell out. The truth is, Spanish fly, you're hot, you're fine, but we just don't connect. Blonde baller, come get your chain, girl. Are you kidding me right now? There's nine girls left in the house, and this competition's getting serious. Me and my brother are starting to develop real feelings for these girls. But you know what? We need to find out who's really here for us. I got my chain lost. But you got a chain. <laughs> if he doesn't feel a romantic connection, why the f am I here? Because he didn't feel any connection with the Spanish boy. I was extremely close to going home tonight, and I'm kind of offended. I'm the cutest thing in this house. What are you doing? I don't get what he was trying to say. Basically, he doesn't want to hear anything else about any other girls anymore from you, and he wants you to do sweet, nice, kind things. Like what? Cute stuff. I'm definitely understanding that Chance needs more romance from me, and I'm very confident that I have what it is to be his girl. It's imperative that I step up my game right now and be in this guy's head. Nicole, this damn dog. Relax. You know, I'm kind of surprised that blonde bar is coming up to my room. You know, she has to show me that she really wants to be here. And that she's not here to snitch. People don't like no rat. He just thought you were out of here tonight, huh? Yeah, I was so scared. I was like, dang, Spanish is so hot, though, so I don't know. That tells you a lot, don't it? It's not about some big old boobs. It's about your insides, also. I'm excited. I definitely want to spend time with this dude. And I mean, he says work on a romantic connection, so why wouldn't I want to? They're Is upstairs, she in his room? dude. No, they're upstairs, I'm telling you. He's getting some booty. You think so? No, I really want to molly wop that bitch. So after elimination, we notice that Blonde Baller is nowhere to be found. We check all over the house, we check her room, and the only other place for her to be was Chance's room. Go up there and try to open the door. Right now, I think Blonde Baller is everyone's enemy in the house. Everyone hates her. Everyone knows that she talks about everyone else. If Blonde Baller is up there with Chance, she's nothing more than just a slut. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, relax, because I ain't had nobody up here chilling with me yet. Not at night. Really? Yeah, really. I'm having a good time with Blonde Baller right now. You know, she's a fun girl, man. I'm glad she came up to the Rizzo. Blonde Baller, I like you a lot, and I really hope you're not a liar. Girls, we got mail! Good morning, ladies. It's time to prove your love beyond a reasonable doubt. The Honorable Real and Chance request your presence in the living room in one hour. Love, Real and Chance. Is this to prove your love? Yeah. Beyond reasonable doubt. So we get the stallion air mail today, and I'm ready to dish out the dirt on some of these chicks. I really want to put these girls on blast. Stallion ads, ladies, assemble. Sometimes the best way to sort out the matters of the heart is where? In the courtroom. 
Oh my God, I've been in so many courtrooms already. I don't want to go back to court. I have to be on trial again. Are you kidding me? Look, ladies, today, you're going to have to tap into your lawyer's side. You're going to stay in their court. And you're going to have to present cases against your fellow stayinettes in the house. We've been hearing all types of things in the house, man, and we need to get to the bottom of it. So the girls are going to be broken up into three teams. Each team will file a complaint against the other team and take it to court and prove her guilty. I'll start over here. Baker, hot wings, and uh, you, Polka, you ladies are the contemptresses. I have Baker and hot wings on my team, and I'm totally excited, because these girls have a lot to say. Classy, sassy, and blonde beezy, you ladies are the M peaches. Classy's pretty intelligent, blonde baller, knows everybody's business, and don't mind telling it. So, I think I got a pretty good team right now. Mama Sita, Flirty, and Doll, you ladies are the pleading hearts. I love Mama Sita and Flirty. They're both really, really good girls. But when it comes to the intellectual area, they're obviously lacking. And on the rail, the team that presents the best case, of course, you win dates with your boys tonight. We want to see who's here for the staying is. Nothing but the staying is, nothing but the truth. The girls are going to have two hours to get their case together, all right? May, May the, the truth, truth be told. told. So we already know what this is. We already know what it is. She's a snitch. She's a liar. And we're talking, of course, about Blonde Baller. It was obviously the best choice, which was Blonde Baller. This is against the Blonde Beezy. What is her charge? She's a two-faced liar. But she's not a Blonde Baller. She's a dirty blonde liar. You been lying nonstop on people! I didn't what? do anything! Spanish Fly is here for paparazzi purposes. Hot Wings says she has all these dudes at home. Mama Cita is just playing games. She needs to pay consequences for things that she talk about. Dirty blonde rat. Right. That's our charge, <laughs> and now we gotta build the case. I know how much Baker hates blonde baller, and Pocahontas just seems like she may just be smart enough to put it together. We could really win this challenge. So you guys know I just worked in a courtroom. This is what I do. Oh, that's okay, cool. Yeah. So Good. I got this. I'm a criminal justice major. I got this in the bag. We're definitely going to do the best in this challenge. So who are we charging? Let's see. Hot wings, getting up and leaving, packing her things and going. I want to go home. I'm done wasting some time with mine. So she packed and threatened to leave. Dal's actually very intelligent. A lot more smarter than I thought she was. What's your question? Oh, um, you just asked me. Or... This is your question? That's her answer? Okay. When she answers you, no matter what she says, your response is going to be like this. So why would you pack? Okay, what was my question again? I love Mama Season Flirty, but dick, to work on a court case with them was like working by yourself. You, you sure you know what you're doing? This is where we're working, but we can collect evidence throughout the house. And I think that my team is very strong. I mean, we have the private investigator, Blonde Baller, and then we have me. I can, you know, pretty much create a case out of anything. And then we have Sassy, who's not afraid to say what's on her mind. Whoever we go after has a lot to be afraid of. Who do you think we should build a case against? Doll. Why do you think Doll? She wears the same damn outfits no, all the time. No. She has been like. Loading. You guys are seriously, if you want to date with real, yeah. going against Doll is not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Flirty told me personally that, you know, she has, you know, five court cases. Uh, a couple years ago, I got a DWI, so right now they're trying to sue me for that. I got in a car accident. Before that, I was in a regular offender battle with somebody else. So I guess we're going against Flirty. She's also a stripper. I'm sorry, I know how you guys, whatever, but she is. But I have not talked to the chick to know any I'm of not this. I either. You're the only one that, that seems okay. to know so, these things. Okay. I have nothing against Flirty, but this is a competition, and she's the ideal woman to build a case against. I just want to win this challenge and get a date with my man. She has excessive baggage. The flirty, it does not meet the definition of a stallionette. All right, ladies, it's time to go to court. Yeah. Get your stuff, put it in the briefcases, and let's do this. It's time to prove that this bitch is a liar. I'm excited. If I can take Blonde Baller to court and prove she's a liar, I can get her ass sent home. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. The girls have been divided up into three teams. Each team has made a complaint against a girl they feel is guilty of a love crime. All parties have agreed to have their disputes settled here, in our forum, the Stallionaires Court. Mm. All rise for the Stallionaires Court. 
for the honorable, real and chance. Hear ye, hear ye. Stay in this court is in session, young girl. Please be seated. The team that presents the best case in court today wins a hot sexy date with your boy. Have that. And hey, your baby, what do we have on the docket? <clears throat> Pleading hearts versus hot wings. These are the plaintiffs, the Pleading Hearts. They are claiming that the defendant, Hot Wings, is a temperamental bird that has attempted to fly the coop with no regard for her man. They are accusing her of quitting on her man. Plaintiffs, please state your case. Today, we, the counsels, Doll, Flirty, and Mamacita, will present and prove the allegations that the defendant, Hot Wings, is not here for chance. How do you plead? Not guilty. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, love is a passionate emotion, and a person is supposed to fight for love. So why would Hot Wings threaten to leave your honor? Where's the passion in her heart? Their argument is so weak, but if that's the best they can do, then bring it, because now I know I'm gonna win this case. Don't be nervous, just uh, tell the truth and let the truth be told. Coming up. Next on the docket, blind baller. You pretty much lied to him? No, I didn't lie to him. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. The liar is starting to become exposed. And later. They brought that was three years ago. She's looking and punch her in the face. Bring it, bitch. Welcome to my land of hate. The pleading hearts. Please state your case. So today we have to go to Stallion Air Court and we have to file claims against the girls that we think shouldn't be here. So we decided to put a claim against Hot Wings because we tried to pack to leave. So she's obviously the obvious choice. Today we, the counsels, Doll, Flirty, and Mamacita, will present and prove the allegations that the defendant, Hot Wings, is not here for chance. How do you plead? Not guilty. The pleading hearts file a complaint against me and the complaint is, and I'm really not here for chance. I'm gonna win this case. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, love is a passionate emotion, and a person is supposed to fight for love. So why would Hot Wings threaten to leave? Where's the passion in her heart? Why would you disrespect Chance like this if you really care about this man? Because I couldn't get a date. I had no one-on-one -on -one time with you. Other girls have the house, the pool, to keep them occupied, to keep their mind off it. All I cared about was him, and I was not getting him, and that's why I packed up and left. What are you here for? I'm here for him. That's all I've been here for. Do you think she's here really for love, or do you think she has other motives on being here? I just feel that she's here for you, and I know she is. Mama Zita, keep going. Continue. Please don't stop. Object. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I think we heard enough. Damn, Mama Zita. Thanks for making us lose our case. I don't even think she was drinking. I think she just lacked like half of her brain or something. Mama Zita, you even said for yourself that you felt like she was here for him. <laughs> right there, just summed it up for me. In the matter of the pleading hearts versus hot wings, we rule in the favor of hot wings. So the verdict is not guilty. I proved myself innocent, and that's the best thing that could ever happen. Take that, pleading hearts. <laughs> I really do feel like I it all up. Like, I was like, she's really here for you, and I just ruined everything. I hope my girls aren't mad at me right now. What's up, brother? What do we have on the docket? The impeaches. Classy, sassy, and blonde baller versus flirty. These are the plaintiffs, the impeaches. They're claiming that the defendant, Flirty, is bogged down with baggage, and her loose morals will bring this relationship behind bars. They are accusing her of being a trashy troublemaker. The impeaches, please state your case. We, the impeaches, believe Flirty does not meet the definition of a stallionette. How do you plead, Flirty? Not guilty. They're trying to say I don't represent a stallionette. These bras don't know what a stallion that's supposed to be. Can you tell us what you do for a living? I strip. That's good to know. So they're building a case against me because I strip? Are you kidding me? I don't give a Yeah, I dance and I take my clothes off and I make more money than probably all you guys together do in a month. Are you kidding me right now? 
What is your opinion of the law? Yeah, I mostly try to follow them. Isn't it true that you recently received a DWI? Yes, two years ago, yes I did. I was actually working at the strip club and I got kicked out because I was too intoxicated. Mm. And they sent me home and I tried driving home. Damn near everything we brought up against Flirty, she admitted to. How do you get kicked out of the strip club and then you drive your ass home drunk? As of right now, would you say you have more than three cases pending? Yeah, I think I have about three. They just opened up everything, and everything I said to Chance yesterday in the limo and on a date. Uh, a couple years ago, I got a DWI. A week before that, I got in a car accident. Before that, I was in a regular offender band with somebody else. Blonde baller, she just let it all out, and I'm, I'm really, I'm ready to go over there and just punch the bitch in her face. It's safe to say you have some legal obligations to tend to. They ripped me a new <laughs> I'm on the spot so bad right now. I might as well just go pack my things. Do you have any cases against you, defendant, that will give you any long-term jail time? Not at all. Definitely, definitely Let me ask a quick question. Jail. Are you sure about that? Have you went to court on those pending dates to know what's really going on? No. Well, then you don't know that for sure, ma'am. But I know I'm not going to end up in jail for a long time. Flirty's getting stomped right now, beat down to the curb, and just beat demolished. Anything, defendant? Um, I would learned from my mistakes. Everything in my, that happened in my past, it's my past, and some of it is still lingering, and I'm still going through it, which is none of their business, so. You know, all this evidence that I hear about Flirty, sounds to me somebody needs to go home and uh, get their life together. That's about it, and, you know, just take it as that. Flirty really didn't deny anything, so I'm definitely thinking we have this in the bag. Me and my brother, Judge Chance, have uh, reached a decision. The Peaches, y'all have valid points, man. You guys have a strong argument. So, in the matter of the impeachers versus flirty, we rule in the favor of the plaintiff, the impeachers. Congratulations, ladies, you won your case. I'm pissed. I'm frustrated. And I'm ready to beat somebody's ass. Next on the docket, the contemptuouses versus blind baller. On the count of she is. A dirty blonde rat. <laughs> we're just ready to present the case against Blonde Baller. All we're gonna have to do is ask questions because once she starts telling lies, she's just gonna continue to dig deeper and deeper and she'll just get herself out the house. These are the plaintiffs, the contemptuouses. They're claiming that the defendant, Blonde Baller, is not holding it down for her man. They are accusing her of being a liar and a snitch. Blonde baller, how do you plead? I plead not guilty. Plaintiffs, please state your case. All right, blonde baller, where did you grow up? I lived in Florida for 17 years, went to Palm Springs High School, moved to Long Beach for three years, and then just recently moved to Fullerton. Does your family know where you're at now? My okay. sister does. Your sister does. Mm -hmm. Does your father know? I didn't have time to tell him. So you pretty much lied to him? No, I didn't lie to him. He knows I'm at a television show. No, you just told, oh. him, told the court <laughs> that he didn't know. Right now, Blonde Baller is getting frustrated. She's getting flustered. The liar is starting to become exposed right here in front of us. Like, I just don't know. I just heard two stories. I mean, that, that, that still ring, rings my bone. Man, this is a big, huge red flag for me. First, she tells me her father don't know where she at. Then she tells me, oh, he kind of does. You know what, Blonde Baller? You're stuck in your lies, man. Look at you. You can't say a word. Look at you right now. Look at you. I didn't tell him. Enough My said, defendant. Him. Enough said, please. Classy, can you please come up to the witness stand? Thank you. This challenge is the best that can ever happen. Everybody is ready to see Blonde Baller go, and I think if we can prove in court that she's a liar and she's a snitch, she's gonna get her ass eliminated. You didn't go on the date the other night, did you? When we all went to the nightclub? I did not go on that date. So you weren't there, so you don't know exactly what was said or who said what, correct? Correct. Classy, oh, ashy ass. <laughs> no, you cannot come with Brad. <laughs> no ashy angles allowed on the bus. After the date, BB approached you, did she not? Correct. He's just like, Classy, you got some ashy angles. And could you please let the court know what BB said that one of the guys said about you? Chance was saying that your ankles are ashy. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, blonde ballers are how to tell the snitch. You know, I'm starting to see some truth with all these girls are saying what they've been saying this whole time about blonde ballers. Oh, damn, man. You gonna burn me out like that said. 
I definitely feel like these girls put the last nail in my coffin. I'm down for Chance. I don't feel like I've snitched or lied. And I'm hoping that Chance realizes that I'm really here for him because if he doesn't, I'm going home. Coming up. There will be an elimination tonight. Oh my God. We've never had an elimination the same day as we've had a challenge. I'm kind of worried. If I go home tonight, I'm out of at someone. And later. If that no stays, then I'm like, you know what? This is bull. Dude, you're not going home, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, go. BB, you better go home, dude. You didn't go on the date the other night, did you? When we all went to the nightclub? I did not go on that date. Today's challenge is stay in their court. The girls have to file a claim against the girl from another team and take ass to court to prove her guilty. The team that presents the best case in court today wins a date with Chip Bizzoid. After the date, Bibi approached you, did she not? Yes, she did at some point. And could you day. please let the court know what was said to you that was said about you? I have Baker and Hot Wings on my team. We needed to prove that Blonde Baller is a snitch. It was a joke being made that, yeah, you better put some lotion on because Chance was saying that your ankles are ashy. Snitch. Mm, snitch. You just told everybody but. Thank you. Oh, dang, man. You gonna burn me out like that said. Damn, Blanc Baller, you look like a dummy right now on the line. Man, this is a big, huge red flag for me. What's wrong with trying to help her out on being ashy yeah. for a man? Your name dropped. Your Honor, it was Blanc a joke. Baller. Listen, don't talk about leave me out of that. I Didn't can't take it. I, I can't take it. I'm like, man, this girl a liar, dog. Let me ask one question. You don't know what a snitch is? Your Honor, what does this have to do with? Defendant, please answer the question, yes or no. I know what a snitch is. This is a competition, and I'm going to snitch to get ahead. I feel like I've just been doing what I have to do in order to stay in this house. Thank you, ladies. Can I have the closing arguments? The by closing the um, arguments is character is supposed to be who you are. Stop lying. I could care less about winning the challenge. I just wanted to prove to Chance that Blonde Baller is a rat, and she doesn't deserve to be with him. Me and Judge Real just couldn't believe this. Don't ever go telling nobody nothing that I said. You understand that? I mean, I just couldn't believe it. Man, it's not looking good for the blonde baller right now. She's looking like a scared puppy on the line. In the matter of the contemptuousness, first blonde baller, we rule in the favor. Of the plaintiff, the contemptuousness. We win the case. We prove beyond a reasonable doubt that blonde baller is a liar, a snitch, and a dirty rat. Guilty bitch. You didn't have your boys back on telling Classy that I said something about her ankles, man. Stop talking about everybody. Girl, you better stop snitching. I just couldn't believe it. We're gonna give you a clean slate. From here on out, no more lies. When the verdict comes in, I'm not shocked. Chance tells me he's given me a clean slate, and from here on out, I just can't tell on anyone. But, you know, it's a competition. And if you're not snitching, you're not trying. All rise. It's time to find out who won the challenge. Only two of the three teams got a judgment in the plaintiff's favor. I'm feeling good right now. Ultimately, when it comes to the power of persuasion and bringing out the facts, we're gonna have to go with the impeachers. Classy, sassy, and blonde baller, you ladies had the best case. You guys had the most information. It was very believable. So you know what, girls? You want some date with your boys. Today I was proven um, guilty of lying and snitching, and I don't really care right now. I'm like, I want my date, get out of my face. Court is adjourned. I feel as though the impeachment is all dirty. And for Blonde Baller to go back and relay everything that Flirty said, it's like, are you a FBI agent? Are you serious? Our court is adjourned. The oh. ladies, there will be an elimination tonight. Oh my god. Real and Chance break it to us that there's going to be an elimination tonight. We've never had an elimination the same day as we've had a challenge, so I'm kind of worried. I swear, if I go home tonight, I'm out of at somebody. I am so devastated to lose this date just because how everything was put out there, and this date really would have meant for me to clear up the air and what was said, and I don't get that time, so I'm really concerned. I feel like this date can be a blessing or a curse. It's great that I want to date with Chance, but I'm also worried, because a lot of this stuff is going to have to be cleared up on the date. I get back to the house, and I feel like complete I just feel so belittled and very embarrassed. I'm just taking it all in right now. 
I was talking to Chance in the car on our date yesterday with a uh, blonde baller. I thought he would, you know what I mean? It's nice for the him to know what's going on in my life. At least he knew about it before anybody else had Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's nothing new. They brought that was three years ago. It's hard to not take something like that personal, right? So I'm getting ready in the vanity room by choice. I decide to sit next to the girls' room who are going to talk the most. I'm not scared of these girls, no matter what people think. I can't believe they gave her a free pass. I can't believe we caught her the way we did. I was right? Like, I can't believe they're like, oh, you know what? We're going to clear everything. I still can't believe that. She's looking at a face. Flirty says she wishes she could hit me. Bring it, bitch. I need to clear some things up with Chance, and I really just need to get in his ear one last time and let Chance know that Flirty's here for the wrong reasons. Oh, welcome to my land of hate. Coming up. She was like, I'm gonna go pack up and leave. I don't know what she's here for if she has no money. I told you not to say nothing about these girls. And you continue doing it. You need to learn how to speak when time oh. is due. I wasn't even talking about Court adjourned. And later. I don't know if I want to deal with all this jail stuff. I might as well just go pack my things. I'm going home. I'm just so mad that I can't punch no <laughs> bitch in their face. Oh, oh. girl. The team we felt won the challenge is in Peaches. They're classy, sassy, and blonde baller. Tonight, you know what? We're gonna take them on a hot, sexy date with your boy. Oh, Adam. Thank you. Show them some moves, bra bra. Show them some babes. So what I'm looking for on my date with classy and sassy, number one, I want to see if classy can have some fun. See if she opened up. And with sassy, I want to see if sassy will continue to let her hair down so I can see her for who she is. Oh, man. Do you have any questions for me, ladies? Because it seems like I'm the one that's always asking the questions. You have not asked me that many questions. Oh, yes, I have. Matter of fact, I want to know more about your background. My parents got divorced when I was really young. And we, my mom, you know, she had to raise three kids on her own. And I've been through some things. I've evolved. I've changed. And I'm, uh, I live a good life. I live a happy life. That's good. You should live a happy life. You know, I'm really feeling sassy on this date, man. I mean, damn, just when I start to doubt, because maybe I feel like you ain't showing me enough, you keep showing me more and more and more, girl. While you all were talking, I was thinking about some of the things that I've gone through to make me who I am. And now that I've gone through them, they're kind of uneventful. I can be like, you know, you know, A, B, C, and D happened to me. Fortunately, I haven't been molested, raped, or anything like that. Most of the instances that I've been in in my life, were where people have disappointed me, and... You've been disappointed a lot in your life? Yeah, even by family. I like the maturity and the talks, but then sometimes I can get bored, you know what I mean? Can I by see a... I miss Butterworth. I mean, sometimes I feel like Classy's borderline boring. I was captain of the cheerleading squad, president of the student body, good grades. How you feeling after, um... Hey, hey. I don't know, I'm just feeling, I don't know, I'm good. I'm just good. Like, I'm just like, whatever. I feel like, I don't know, a lot of things after the fact you start thinking about, you know? Yeah! You know, I already gave Blonde Baller a warning about being a tattletale and a snitch. So tonight, if she starts bringing that crap up again, guess what? This is an elimination night, and you might be just clarifying my mind on something. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, when three people are talking to you at one time, you're like, what question do you want me to answer? All of them. How are you gonna answer? If I ask you three questions right now, how are you gonna answer them? Just like I answered 20 women's questions on the first day. Even though this damn girl disappointed me today, I gave her a clean slate. But you know what? I'm willing to take this risk. Damn, I just wanted to chillax. <laughs> what? Who the f are you to judge a flirty? Bitch pissed me off today. All I know well, is right that now. BB better go home, dude. They call her red hand a lie, like on that little lie. I if imagine she, what else she lies about. If that hoe stays, then I'm like, you know what? This is bull. It's not. It's just bull. I'm just mad because that was all my past. They brought up. Chance knew everything that was said in court. He knew because I already told him yesterday, and that's how BB heard it all. Everything they brought up in the car because BB was sitting there. I mean, she has to have a conversation about things that happen and da da da. Like, it was horrible. She's a rat, dude. Baker was so right about that. Bibi has to go home, girl. They just made me seem like this horrible person. They were just evil. And even though I explained them to him before, I need to explain myself. I just think I definitely need to talk to him about it and get it off my chest. I just hope that I don't get me sent home, you know what I mean? So, how did you feel about the challenge? Oh. I know you got questions. 
Today I was proven guilty of lying and snitching and I need to clear some things up with Chance and I just want to prove to him, you know, I'm here for you. You know what, as of today when you gave me a clean slate, I really, I really don't want to talk about no one. When you tell me today, just don't, I don't want to hear about the girls, I want to work on a romantic tip, like that's what I want to do. Man, I'm, I'm chilling with Blonde Baller, man. And I'm glad that she's stepping up back to the plate, man, telling me that she's ready to stop talking about everybody and ready to focus up and just concentrate on me and her. So, I haven't been speaking my mind. Like, I've been wanting to say something to these girls. I don't know. You're gonna pick the wrong girls. Mm. I feel like Flirty, she's low-key crazy. Like, I feel like, you know, she's wanted to go home. So, Blonde Baller, come on, man, what you doing? I told you not to say nothing about these girls. And you continue doing it, what's up with that? Two days ago, she was like, I'm gonna go pack up and leave. I don't know what she's here for. If she has no money, I don't understand. So, Blonde Baller keeps talking about the girls, even though I told her not to, man. This is concerning me and disappointing me. You know what I was gonna say, too, but I didn't. He needs to learn how to sp uh, speak when time no. is due. No, 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 I wasn't even talking about it. Aight, court adjourned. Listen. I feel like shipping up out of here. This girl's kind of bugging out. You know what time it is, right? What time? Elimination. Oh, man, I like me some blonde baller, man, but uh, I am afraid. She's still living the same way in the house, still running and telling behind people's backs and ratting on people. I don't know if this girl's really here for me. A to the B to the C, <laughs> another bad creation, OK? Thank you. This looks good. <laughs> so dessert arrives, and I'm just going to eat mine with my hands. Oh, can I have it? Can I have it? Wow. Thank you. And then wow. I almost ate your finger. <laughs> Sassy and Real seem to be getting along great, so I kind of felt left out. <laughs> you should mm. try eating it like this. Mm. Oh. Oh. I don't think I, I'm gonna eat, I can't eat no more. <laughs> mm. Do what you do, and let's take a dip. So all in all, the date went well, but I don't know that I've done anything more to strengthen our connection, so I'm kind of worried. Is that a stranger over there? Huh? Come here, have a seat. Man, I want to meet with Freddie tonight, man, because she might have to go home and take care of all those court issues and stuff like that. You know, I'm not the one that holds people past against them, but you know, Freddie's past was like two months ago, a month ago, you know what I mean? I, that's damn near the present and the future. I heard so much about your crazy life. I don't know if I want to deal with all this jail stuff. Hey, but that's the whole thing. Okay, I have two court cases. One is not my case, and one is my case. Chance is definitely blowing this out of proportion. I know I've been through a couple things in my life, but he's just making it seem so much worse than it is, and I'm really nervous right now. Ultimately, man, I got a hard decision tonight, man. I respect your decision 100%, whatever it may be, but just make sure you just look at everything that happened in court today and just how everything went down. I'll keep my fingers crossed, too. You know, I really don't want to end up with nobody that's going to be in jail. You know, I don't need to do that. Oh, it's not me. It's not me. I'm going home. Why? So I leave Chance, and we just had a discussion, and I'm not feeling too good about this right now. He's just like, oh, I don't know. I have a really hard decision today to make. And he goes, oh, I don't want a girl that's going to go to jail as soon as I pick her. Just everything is just tearing me apart. Um, just all my dirty laundry aired out like that, and Chance, like, just taking everything, like, the wrong way. I feel like I'm about to go home. I might as well just go pack my things. Well, do you have felonies, or what's the deal? I don't have nothing, it's just... Aww. Don't cry, girl. She really feels that she's going home tonight, so I hug her, and I'm like, dude, you're not going home, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, girl, <laughs> there's a chance you could be going home. And I'm just so mad that I can't punch no bitch in their face. Coming up. We would love the whole court all night long with you sexy ladies, but somebody got to go home tonight. What do you want, me or Flirty McNasty? If this brawl gets a chain, she's getting the beat out of her. Today I was proven guilty of lying and snitching. I feel like I've just been doing what I have to do in the competition. I would be completely devastated if I went home tonight. Tonight, I'm feeling hurt, I'm sad, I'm confused. I think I'm gonna go home because they just made me seem like this horrible person. 
there's anything that I still need to prove to Real is that there's still more to me. But I think that Real is getting to know more about me, which is what he wanted to do. And I think it was very pleasant tonight. You ladies, man, really proved in the courtroom that you're really here for your boys, man. Man, we would love to hold court all night long with you sexy ladies, but you know what? Somebody got to go home tonight. You know, this elimination is going to be hard for us tonight. And you know, all the ladies we have left, we were feeling from the bottom of our heart. But you know what? We have to get to our stay in it, and we got to do what we got to do. There's nine of you. We only got eight chains, man. We got to get this started, so, bruh, my first chain goes to a woman that I, I, shoot, I knew this woman was hot. Hell, but I just found out today that she can show lay down the law. But there's one thing that I need to see from you, man, and I need to see a little bit more of your romantic side. So, Sassy, come on down. I get the first chain out of all the girls. And I am just up there with the stars right now, the sassy star. I just feel so good. My first chain's gonna go to a girl who, she sure is packing her bags in five minutes, bruh. I hope you don't, and I don't think you'll do that. So, hot wings. The one thing I proved today in court is that I am here for chance. And I get my chain, and it's like him asking me to stay here longer because he wants to get to know me, and I love that. This chain is for a beautiful girl who makes me smile every time I see her. Maybe I should have just called her Light Bright. Doll. When Real wanted to call me Light Bright, he made me smile. I was so happy. Give me love. My confidence level is really up there right now. Breaker. You want to take a chance with your boy? Of course. All I'm worried about is the bitch line baller going home, or is she going to stay in the house? Polka. Thank you real with your boy? Yes. Mama Cita, caress me. Come on down here and caress me. Give yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me love. I'm standing here waiting for my chain, and next to no one is left up here, so I don't know if I'm going to get a chain tonight. This woman is cool, calm, very intelligent. But I wonder if she's a little too laid back for me. And I want us to have some fun. Classy, you know who I'm talking about. I'm very happy that I got the chain, but I'm still kind of sad because he's been asking to see this fun side. I haven't had the opportunity to show him. Well, you can take the kid real with me. Yeah. Even realer. Even realer. Because we got to have some fun. Yeah, we'll do something wild. Hopefully, I'll get an opportunity to do that soon. Thank you. I got two beautiful women up here. So it's down to me and Blonde Baller, and I'm pissed. She better not get a chain. I'm gorgeous. I have a lot to offer Chance. And I'm a so-called snitch. Whatever. And then you have Flirty. She's just a hot mess, and she's a stripper. What do you want? Me or Flirty McNasty? Man. Tonight's going to be tough. This decision right here, oh, it's a tough one. But somebody has to go. I don't know how to do this. I got two beautiful women up here. So you know what, tonight's gonna be difficult for me. I got blonde baller and I got flirty. Blonde baller, she's just a little liar, man. You know, I don't want that liary past to just come smack me in my face. And flirty, her past, man, consists of jail cells, knuckles across the head, and people getting ran over, and I don't know if I want to be a part of that. I don't know how to do this. I felt horrible standing in the bottom, too, because I know this bitch done put me out there like I was some punk getting arrested all the time. I swear to God, if this bra gets a chain, she's getting the beat out of her. If Chance sent me home tonight, I'd be so disappointed. It puts a rock in my stomach. It's like, I don't want to go home. I have so much fight in me, and I just want to be able to show him. Let me start with you, Flirty. I learned a lot of things about you today. A lot of things that, that they worried me. Getting arrested, got police wanting to chase you, hitting people, running them down, busting kids, you know what I mean? It just don't stop. Chance is telling me my life is in shambles, and I'm, I'm just waiting for Blonde Baller to walk up there and get that chain, because I'm ready to bust this bitch in her face. I like that you admit your mistakes and stuff like that, but can you honestly get your life together and get on a straight path and stuff like that? Do you think my you life to is together. It's 100% together, and where I'm headed, is a great place. And all these broads definitely just made me seem to something I wasn't to be. All right, all right, I see that, I see that. But your life's still kind of messed, though, you know what I'm saying? You just got to take care of a few things to get back on total track, you know what I'm saying? 
The look on her face is priceless right now. It is so priceless. She's like, ugh, 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 making ugly faces and frowning. Look, I really like you, man. In a long time, I've been telling you, I've been believing you this whole damn time. But today, what I saw was a little way too real. Because you got caught red-handed lying on the stand, man. And if that was no lying here, I don't know what lying is. Because uh, the show didn't meet up nose to nose. I don't want to go home right now. I really like him, and I hope that I'm staying. I kind of saw what a lot of these girls have been trying to explain to me this whole time. You know what I mean? You're sweet, you're beautiful, you're cool, man, but I just can't afford to be tricked. I'm not tricking you. I'm here for you. And from what I saw today, I, that's what made me feel like you've been lying to me this whole time. You know what I'm saying? So, Flirty, come get your chain, little mama. So I give Blonde Baller that look, and it's like, bitch, you ain't got on me. I'm definitely glad that he was smart enough to let her go and see how conniving and a liar she was. You want to take a chance with your boy? <laughs> I'm most definitely ready to take a chance with my boy. Uh, sit down. Baller, look, man, I'm sorry, man. Till you get your story straight, man, for now, there's nothing between us. So then you're going to have to bounce. You know, I had to eliminate Blonde Baller. I just don't like the liars. The snitch runs too deep for me. Yeah, Flirty's more straight here with me. Even though she got a little jail cell coming in her pants. And may not be able to see straight. You know, I mean, she might beat the court system in there and be a free woman, and she, I do like her. I feel embarrassed that he would choose Flirty over me. The things she had going on the witness stand were way worse than what they said about me. I feel like that's pretty sad that you can go home for a really, really dumb reason. All right, ladies, let's go inside. The night is now done. So there's eight girls left, man. It's time for these girls to step their game up, man, because you know what? Our hearts are pounding and the love is high. It's about time to have her. BB goes home. I feel like it's, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> the witch is dead. <laughs> the witch is dead. Next time on Real Chance of Love. Oh, God. Oh, I'm waiting to see what she got in store for me. Oh, Lord. Welcome to Robert's Hall Winery in beautiful Paso Robles. Are y'all ready for a romantic day with your boys? I absolutely love me some wine. Yeah, she's throwing up, man. <laughs> I hope I didn't ruin my chances. You got to oh. stop stripping. No, you did not. Excuse you? I'm not dealing with I just can't handle this. You just made me sleep like I'm nothing. Oh my god, I hate these. My uncle got bit by a bumblebee. People be like, no, he got bit by something. A bumblebee bit his finger and he doesn't, it's like this. Well, because some people are allergic. Yeah, he's allergic to it. Yeah. So he has a nub. That sucks. Don't. You just need to think, walk away. Just walk away. I'll be walk away facing him because if you run up behind my back, <laughs> See? Just walk away. <laughs>